Okay, now we're going to move over to uh, a T-Bone Walker song called Papa Ain't Salty. And to begin with, I actually want to talk a little bit about how to use a metronome and some great practicing tips um, with a metronome. Um, I'm going to start by talking about how to play with the metronome on two and four as opposed to quarter notes. Now, if I was, um, the song I'm going to play right now, uh, I'm going to play it at about 110 on a metronome. Um, and, and that would actually sound about like this. I'll show you what this sounds like. Now, that, the, the beats would, that's how, that's the sound at 110. Now, if you've got a band, a drummer doing this at you, da, 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 constantly, it's a little bit hard to swing and really feel the backbeat. So, and this, actually, when you start getting into faster tempos, what you want to do is free that up a little bit. And uh, a lot of the music that, that I love, like jazz and blues and, and, and other types of music like that, um, really have a strong backbeat on two and four where the, the drum is whacking the snare drum and, and the rhythm guitar is hitting two and four, like I talked about on the BB thing there a few minutes ago. So I'm going to use the metronome on two and four. Now, if you've never done this before, it takes a little getting used to, because that click, we tend to want to try to hear that as one, two, three, four, when it's not. It's, I'm going to treat that as one, three, one, two, three, four. So it's as if when you're counting a tune off, you're snapping your, your fingers between the beats. And uh, like your high school jazz ensemble teacher might have done back in your days back then. So we're going to use a metronome on two and four. And it works great on the shuffles. And as I said earlier, it works great on, on up-tempo tunes too. So I'm going to show you right now the bass line that uh, accompanies uh, this song called Papa Ain't Salty. And this is the, the original bass line that the um, person's doing on the record. Um, and I'm going to play that bass line along with the metronome on two and four, let you hear how it sounds, and you're going to actually have that as one of your playing exercises in this lesson also. So let me demonstrate that. Just guitar and metronome, okay? So I'm going to count in like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> So just a little bit about that bass line. I'm playing the notes one, three, five, six from the G major scale. So that, that bass line, if I was going to describe that to a bass player on the gig real quickly, on a blues jam or something, I'd say it's, it's the, you play the notes one, three, five, six. And that would be how it works. Now one more time on this metronome. You've got to feel in between these beats, because this is two and four. So you've got to start counting one, two. One, two, three, four, just to get into it. A couple bars. Show you how it feels. I'll stay here on the one. Okay. So I want you to try practicing with the metronome on two and four some. And we're going to be using it on a number of songs um, on two and four uh, throughout these lessons ahead.